I feel very deprived that I'm not able to join personally in this conference that's taking place in Beijing on a very exciting and important subject. Uh, I very much regret not being able to come because of my work obligations. And I'm deprived in three different ways. I always like coming to China and enjoy that experience very much. I always, secondly, learn something when I am in China from the research that's going on, particularly on development. And third, uh, this conference seems a very well-organized, well-planned um, uh, arrangement for discussion on subjects that are of very wide global interest. The time when development was seen mainly as expansion of per capita income, GDP growth, uh, life was very simple, and yet the indicators of development often didn't tell us very much about what's happening to human lives, uh, the lives that people have reason to choose to live. I think one of the changes that came um, in thinking in different parts of the world, including in China, was to move away from that to the understanding that it is the quality of human life that we are particularly um, concerned with in assessing how development is taking place. But one of the neglected aspects of human life to start with was where the early years, when before the schools, we had lots of statistics on schools, attendance, performance, but preschool. And preschool was important not only for the development of the mental quality of people, but also for the importance of preschool age nutritional features, because often people are hugely challenged in the in the very early years of life, leaving a mark for the rest of their lives on their cognitive uh, development and their ability to deal with their intellectual challenges, uh, the intellectual challenges they face. Um, I think recent work has brought out how important the experience of early childhood uh, happens to be on the life of people uh, stretching uh, decades, 70, 80, 90 years. Uh, I think um, particularly of the work of, say, James Heckman about the development of early childhood capability and how that influences the possibilities of capability enhancement and consolidation in future years. So this is an exciting subject. It's an exciting subject in which a lot of uh, really original work is going on in China, and I take it some of it will be presented in this conference. I feel both deeply deprived in not being able to be there and participate because of my work obligations, uh, but also very privileged that through this means I get an opportunity to somehow be virtually present in the, in the, in the Beijing conference. So I take this opportunity of expressing my best wishes and greetings, and rather incongruously also welcome to you to this conference, even though you are there and I am not. Uh, I hope the meeting will go very well, and I'll find out from my friend like Lu Mai and others how exactly it went. I don't doubt 